Hey, Mom, look what I found. Hey, how's it going, everybody? We're back out here at Walton Woods. Uh, I was supposed to make a video Friday morning. We were going to go hit Lodi. Um, I did end up going to the Corn Festival and checking it out. We just haven't had a chance to do it, and I'll show you just a video of me driving by. I just took a quick clip after we... All right. Uh, we went to the Lodi Corn Festival. Here it is. This is where we already checked it once. We're coming back next week. And uh, probably like Monday, Tuesday, after they got all this stuff out of here, and me and Peyton's gonna hit it again and see if we can't get some uh, more money out of there. Later. All right, well, we didn't do that because my truck broke down. Big red piece of crap. But uh, a water pump went out, booster pump was leaking, got all that replaced, and uh, you can see that already and uh, now we're gonna go try and see if we can't find something else um, well, I showed you the one spot if you guys have seen any, any of you have seen my other video where we found some of the bottles and some of the stuff like that but uh, past that there was a few tractor parts bigger tractor parts I had found on the ground like a shock some oil filters um, two light covers uh, there's an old outhouse back there. It's not like real, real old. I think when the city got this property back in 1956, 57, 58, um, they had actually turned it into a park and put the outhouse in. And like I said, now the only people to take care of this park is volunteers and nobody ever comes here because whenever I walk through these trees, I always get a face full of spider webs every time. So I know nobody comes here. So we're gonna go back there by the outhouse and see if we can't find something other than a shock and oil filters and stuff maybe from one of these old tractors that apparently they had on the property so um let's go. all right we found something i kind of decided to get off the the beaten path and start just walking through the woods this looked like a pretty flat spot of land so it's always nice to get a signal out out somewhere I'm seeing this sticking out not sure what it is mystery item I guess that would probably remain that too but like uh, like some type of tool maybe a uh, tool or a T connection yeah. for a piece of pipe yeah. but uh, not positive all right we'll see you All right, walking along and I spotted one of these bottles, which is, uh, we're away from where I found all my other bottles. But uh, you can see, it's got the, they put caps on back then. You know, this is like 40s, maybe 30s, 20s. Um, I'm gonna have to say probably more like 30s, 40s. But uh, I got uh, a couple of these from last time I was here. There's another one over there, but it's broken. So, good find. Maybe we'll find some more down here. Oh, hold on. About ready to turn it off, and I just saw another. Ah, uh, that's a newer beer bottle. Unfortunately. Oh, you guys can see it. Yep, not even worth uh, picking up or touching. If I touch it, I gotta take it out. I just spotted this. I wanted to go take a look at it, and I figured I'll bring you guys with me. It's pretty neat. Might be something living back in there. I think like a raccoon or something would live back in there. I think Jason's got something, so. I'm gonna have All right. Jason found an old pad, a concrete pad, not real big, so it's probably like some type of outbuilding, I would imagine. It's just concrete, but... Um, 
kind of standing on it now. Now let's follow this back here. That's a pretty good sized building. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right here's the edge. You can see, here's where it ends. Oh, there's some old bricks. I don't know how old they are. We'll take a look at them, but uh, Jason's up there, so that's the, the length of the building. It doesn't look to be real wide. No markings on these. I don't... It's, it's possible that it's something the city had built at one time and then uh, tore down when they decided not to use the park anymore. So if we find something, we'll let you know. All right, just popped a plug. Saw that sitting right on top. Let's get it out of there. Can't tell how old it is or which, you know, which maker it is, but paper shotgun shell. This one's in pretty rough condition. Looks like I might need to wipe my lens down too. Sorry guys, I can't get a focus on that. Although you're not going to be able to read it anyways. So, Alright, see you at the next one. Alright, here's the outhouse I spoke of earlier. <coughs> get a little closer, you guys can see the foundations to cinder block. That's why I believe the city probably put this here when they got the land and turn it into a park. We've got a double seater for you, yourself and the missus. You can hang out in here with your brother. Definitely wish it was a an older original uh, building on the property. Now, luckily, with uh, Jason with me, he's a stonemason. He said those bricks, even though they're not handmade bricks, he said they're probably around 70 or 80 years old. So that building's old, but we only found a few scrap pieces of iron around it and some nails and stuff, which is about what I expected, to tell you the truth. So hopefully, we can find maybe a few more paper shotgun shells or. Um, what I was really hoping to come down here for by this outhouse was to see if we can find some more tractor parts. But uh, we'll see. Alright, found uh, kind of what I've been looking for. Here's an old plow disc. It's got a little, almost looks like a little horseshoe mark, you know, resembling a horseshoe. But uh, yeah, that's an old plow disc. How cool is that? Maybe we'll find some more stuff up around here, but that, that's pretty neat. I was, I'm glad to find this. All right, see you guys. And I just want to show you guys this, because this is the first one I ever found. Hopefully it can, come on, baby. Well, it says Strohs. It's just a pop top. We found two of them. This one's in better shape, but, uh, I mean, they're junk. This one actually says Strohs right in the lid. This is the first lid I actually had where it was embossed with, uh, what it was so I just thought that was pretty neat. And I thought I'd share it with you guys It's just too bad. This camera won't focus. All right Let me go over here. Jason said he's got something bigger And we found the bolt to the plow at least that's what Jason says it is He's worked on quite a few farms, so I'm gonna go with that Pretty neat All right guys, there's another one Another another part of the plow plow blade and then uh, Jason just found this. See what over here? That's a uh, bridle part of the of a you know hooking up your horse. So thought that was pretty neat. And that thing's probably been out here for six years, probably. Oh, I would say at least sixty to eighty years. Yeah, seventy, eighty years. So that's pretty neat. That yeah. that was hooked onto a horse and, and, the, and the plow was. was yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. All right. All right. I just found three clad pennies, and the one is a 2015. All right here next to this big old tree. So my guess is uh, somebody was laying down over here or something to lose these out of their pocket. And one cent being a 2015, it was this year. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Plus, 
All right, we're gonna do the wrap up here. We're back home. Uh, of course, the two lids you saw, the one I still think is really neat, the strobes right in the in the top of it. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, found some big scrap pieces. Um, old, found that around that uh, foundation with the bricks and stuff. So that's probably just an old washer. Uh, there's one plow piece. And the other plow piece, which I was very excited to get those two. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, plow bolt, which is pretty neat. This is really corroded. I can't quite tell what it is, but it definitely it looks like a collar onto a shaft. So it definitely probably went on one of the tractors. A uh, bunch of nails. Uh, insulator for a fence or maybe in one of those buildings. Uh, the bottom piece of scrap aluminum. This big old iron bar. Don't know what that is either, but it's heavy. Uh, this piece of building material, and then the uh, belt, which I thought was really neat to actually uh, see that, especially as much green and stuff was on it. It's camouflaged into the uh, forest floor, so that was really cool. And then. Uh, this little T connector of whatever it is. Still not sure, but that's what it looks like to me. So, I mean, overall, I think it was a pretty good day. So, thanks for joining me today, guys. The, the end.